messenger RNA vaccination, immunity and pathogenic priming. Transmission and life cycle of SARS-CoV-2 causing COVID-19. Immunity consists of protection against infectious disease resulting from the immune response generated by immunization or prior infections, as well as other non-immunologic factors. Adaptive immunity involves immune system function acquired by natural infection or vaccination in response to antigenic stimulus as well as antibody or lymphocyte transfer from an immune donor. Antibody specifically recognizes the pathogenic antigen molecule. Antibodies specifically bind to the surface of an invading pathogen, marking it for immune cell destruction, stimulating the production of complement proteins, further promoting this process. Specific neutralizing antibodies also inhibit infectivity via the blocking of molecules necessary for antigen entrance to the host cell. Antibodies and antigens are proteins of the immune system. They specifically bind to each other in an immune response. Previous pathogenic exposure attributable to natural presentation or vaccination resulting in the acquisition of functional antibodies capable of antigen binding are designated as seropositive. Seronegative individuals never previously exposed to the specific antigen possess negligible amounts of protective antibodies capable of antigen binding. Active immunization consists of immune system stimulation for the conferral of protection against disease, such as by administration of a vaccine or toxoid. Passive immunization confers specific immune reactivity on formerly non-immune individuals by sensitized lymphoid cell or serum administration from immune donors. Innate immunity consists of genetically determined defense mechanisms by means of cytokines, the complement cascade, and specialized white blood cells. It also involves antigen presentation for active immune system function. Physical structures such as skin and chemical elements such as the blood clotting factors are also essential to the innate immune system. The T lymphocyte activation pathway is triggered when a T cell encounters its cognate antigen coupled to a major histocompatibility complex molecule on the surface of an infected cell or phagocyte. T cells contribute to immune defenses in two major ways. Some direct and regulate immune responses. Others directly attack infected or cancerous cells. In the B lymphocyte activation pathway, B cells function to protect the host by producing antibodies that identify and neutralize foreign objects like bacteria and viruses. When a B cell encounters its triggering antigen, 
it gives rise to many large cells, known as plasma cells. Every plasma cell is essentially a factory for producing an antibody. Each of the plasma cells descended from a given B cell manufactures millions of identical antibody molecules and pours them into the bloodstream. An antibody is comprised of two heavy and two light chains. The variable region differs from one antibody to the next for specific antibody recognition of its matching antigen. The constant region dictates which mechanism will destroy the antigen and determines the isotope. Antigen presentation stimulates T cells to activate cytotoxic CD8 cells or helper CD4 cells. Cytotoxic cells directly attack other cells carrying certain foreign or abnormal molecules on their surfaces. Helper T cells or TH cells coordinate immune responses by communicating with other cells. In most cases, T cells only recognize an antigen if it is carried on the surface of a cell by one of the body's own MHC, or major histocompatibility complex molecules. The MHC is also referred to as the human leukocyte antigen, HLA complex, in human beings. Processes in the primary immune response. A plasma cell is a completely differentiated B lymphocyte producing a single kind of antibody. Vaccines enable the body to recognize an invading pathogen by introducing a part of an inactivated form of a pathogen. The inoculate does not cause disease. The body develops a strong, sustained, and effective immune response. The resultant priming of the immune system results in its ability to react more quickly and effectively to a naturally encountered pathogen than if it were not primed by this previous exposure. Breakthrough cases subsequent to viral infection and vaccination indicate that infection, usually by a variant of the virus, broke through the immunity. The inoculation should have ostensibly conferred causing illness. Some degree of viral morbidity mitigation upon reinfection is believed to occur in these previously vaccinated individuals. Virally infected superspreaders are capable of transmitting infection to large amounts of previously uninfected individuals in a relatively short period of time. The vaccinated and unvaccinated have been observed to be capable of carrying and transmitting the given virus and related variants in some cases depending on the type and quantity of the individual's viral load. A 
homology exists between human and viral peptides. This homology may be involved in the development of harmful viral or vaccine-induced autoimmunity in human beings. This process is characterized by immune responses by an organism against its healthy cells and tissues. An epitope is a site on an antigen to which a complementary antibody may bind with specificity. Autoimmunity from viral epitope exposure has been observed as a result of exposure attributable to infection or vaccination. Such immune system disturbances involve elements of MHC class 1 and 2 antigen presentation, cross-presentation of soluble exogenous antigens, the endoplasm reticulum phagosome pathway, and programmed cell death 1 signaling. The spike S protein glycoprotein functions in neuroimmunopathology among coronaviruses. The SARS-CoV-2 virus possesses other proteins and polyproteins that may be a functional antigen source during infection leading to autoimmune disease. The immune system presents these human proteins like other human proteins in the process of antigen presentation. T cells recognize normal protein configurations in the thymus Biomimicry amongst or between proteins from pathogens resulting from infection or inoculation may combine signaling and recognition by the creation of memory B cells, especially should the reaction switch from a Th1 to a, a Th2 response. Th2 type immunopathology was observed following experimental SARS-CoV vaccination in laboratory animals suggestive of hypersensitivity to SARS-CoV proteins in the aforementioned context of homology and autoimmune pathology. Immune system priming upon SARS spike protein-based vaccination resulting in pulmonary and hepatic morbidity and mortality with subsequent exposure to wild SARS virus was observed during experimentation in laboratory animals. The increased risk of morbidity and mortality was attributed to prior exposure to the SARS spike protein. The concept of pathogen priming under such circumstances involves these peptides functioning as pathogenic priming peptides. Many of these proteins exist whose effects are exerted upon various immune system as well as somatic cells and tissues. Every SARS-CoV-2 protein possesses at least one epitope matching a protein in the human body. One third of SARS-CoV-2 virus epitopes matching human proteins also match proteins of the immune system. Various immunogenic proteins identified in SARS-CoV-2 possess a problematic homology to keep proteins of the human adaptive immune system. The effects of pathogenic priming may occur involving various proteins following coronavirus vaccination, possibly consistent with observations of autoimmunity, such as the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines and the cytokine storm detailed in prior presentations. Pathogenic priming may be a variant severity in vaccine or infection-induced immune responses to some proteins and for others dependent on the type and quantity of antigen involved. The role of pathogenic priming upon COVID-19 reinfection has been postulated. SARS-CoV-2 COVID-19 vaccines were formulated in a manner not expected to cause autoimmune morbidity and mortality due to pathogenic priming. New presentations coming soon.